So you just got Windows 10 and you found out you can stream Xbox One to your PC. Well now you can stream to Twitch like this. And I'm going to show you how. My name's Andrew Clifton and this is your Twitch tutorial. Hello, my name is Andrew Clifton and I'm going to show you how you can stream your Xbox to the PC using the Xbox app on Windows 10. And then I'm going to show you how you can configure OBS or Open Broadcast Software, how you can also connect the Xbox app to Twitch. Okay, so first of all, for this tutorial you'll need two monitors. I know not everybody has two monitors, but Quite a lot of people who stream on Twitch generally have two monitors because it makes your streaming a lot simpler. Now I mean you can already stream using the Twitch app on the Xbox One, but of course the limitations you have is for one you'll need the Kinect sensor, and two you can't have follower alerts, uh, donation alerts, or the chat room, or any other kind of thing that you want on the screen such as scroll and text or whatnot. And of course, it's just a lot more of a flexible experience doing it on the PC. I mean, of course, you might be monitoring the chat on the PC. So there's nothing much different there. Or if you really wanted to, you could actually just stream using your monitor. And you could just play using the Xbox stream in on the second monitor anyway. Okay, so anyway, let's get to work. Basically, you want to click on OBS. I already have it installed, but you can download it from Twitch. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get that from. Um, so you want to download OBS. Um, open it up. Um, now I've already used OBS because I have streamed before and I've configured it in a certain way, but I'll show you how you can do this from scratch. Okay, so you want to right click on the scenes. You want to select add scene. You can name this whatever you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to call it Xbox One. Xbox One. Okay, so now we're going to select... Uh, we, well, we're going to preview the stream first. As you see, it's black because there's no sources, and now you'll need to add a source. Now, you might already know how to do this if you used OBS, but um, of course, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set that up. And of course, how you can add your Xbox to it. Okay, so... You right click on sources, press add. Uh, you want to select monitor capture. Well, you can name this whatever you want, but we'll just click OK. Um, we're going to select the monitor that we'll be using. Uh, for me, it is monitor 3, I think it is. Okay, okay so here's the monitor. Um, now, as you, as you can see, the resolution isn't correct. Um, you can fix that by clicking edit scene. Now you might need to make this bigger or smaller depending on how big or small your monitor is. Uh, you can scale that up or down to make it fit. Just fit it just nicely in there and look at it scene again to deselect it. Okay, so now we're going to open up the Xbox app. Now for me, I have it on the taskbar, but you would probably have it on the start menu. So you want to click the start button. Um, you want to select Xbox for here. For me, it shows up here and play and explore, but obviously, if it doesn't show up there for you, you can just type Xbox and it'll show up there as well. And you want to click on that, open it up. Um, now, as I mentioned, this is the part where you'll need the second monitor, so what you want to do is you want to drag this over to your second monitor. Now, of course, because I'm recording using just this one single monitor, I'll just upscale this so you can see what I'm doing on the other screen. So what you're seeing on OBS here is my second monitor, and this is capturing the whole screen. And what you need to do is click connect on the Xbox app. Now you might already know how to do this, but I'll just show you anyway. Uh, you want to select turn it on. My console's off, but you can turn it on remotely, which is pretty useful. Okay, this is connected. Um, press stream. This will happen and it takes a the whole screen and there you go. Simple as that. Now of course you could either play using this uh, on your computer as they inte intend you to. Um, or you could just play on your Xbox still using the controller. You don't have to plug it into your PC when using this. And um, there you go. It's basically uh, a capture card now. So you can record to your PC and um, 
you can capture moments. Yeah, and it, it also streams the audio to the PC, which is super useful. Okay, so now you want to add things such as a webcam and the chat or Twitch follower alert or donation or whatever. Um, just right click on sources again, click add. Now for me, I have them already enabled as global sources. Uh, for you, you wouldn't have that. Um, I'll make another tutorial of how to set that up exactly. Uh, but I'll, um, or I might just include a quick little thing at the end of the video of how to do things such as chat and all that. But the most important thing that you want to probably have is the webcam. So you want to click on video capture device. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. Uh, I'll just call it webcam. Um, click OK or press Enter. Uh, select your webcam. Mine's a Logitech HD Pro. Um, click OK. And now you want to click edit scene. You can scale this down. Um, and yeah, you can put it wherever you want on the screen. Um, yeah. So now you have uh, a webcam in your Xbox. And right now it looks pretty much exactly how it would probably look if you were streaming on the Xbox. So that's pretty boring. So, of course, doing this you can add things such as a chat. I'll just show you what that looks like quickly. Here's the chat room. Uh, now in this tutorial video I don't have my system sound enabled but there is sound coming through the computer and it is picking up um, as you can see there. Um, I just have the sound muted in the recording so you can hear me. Uh, basically um, this, is, this is perfect for streaming because you don't need a capture card and plus a big perk of doing this is you don't have a delay. Um, usually when you use a capture card you'll get a delay and um, obviously uh, the difference between the delay in the webcam and the game is something will happen in the game and you'll react to it before it's even, you know, the viewers will see it and um, I find that that reduces the experience. Now obviously in that situation the best option is just to use this because you don't get a delay but of course you can, you can select, you can make Twitch uh, match the delay but of course to do that you have to add a delay to your webcam and audio which isn't as good so obviously with this you don't get a delay you can just play and my audio is synced with the video and it's all live um, so that's great um, so that's su super useful and um, plus it saves money buying a capture card all you need is Windows 10 okay so what I'm going to show you just quickly at the end of this tutorial um, how you can actually set this stuff up uh, I'll make a more in-depth video of how you can do all the other stuff like uh, follow alerts and all that. Um, but basically you can find all this information out um, on Night Dev. I'll just show you quickly. You go to nightdev.com, click on projects, select uh, the one you want. Uh, of course Nightbot, I already use Nightbot in the chat. But um, I'm going to show you how to do OBS chat. On OBS chat, click install, click next, uh, just type in your username, mine is like Arnold. Uh, chat, fade, just click dark. Okay, so yeah, you want to copy and paste this posted URL. And click close. Now you want to go back to OBS. So what, okay, wanna, you want to right click on sources, just add, you want to select CLR browser. Now, CLR browser, you won't have that option there, so you might be thinking, whoa, where's that? Okay, so you want to, you can download that, just type CLR browser to Google, or well, I'll put a link in the description, um, but that can be downloaded from obsproject.com, which is the most reliable source to do that. Um, just download it, 32-bit uh, version, 64-bit version, depends what your operating system is. If you've got 32-bit, down 32-bit, 64-bit, 64-bit, you know this. Or you should, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Anyway, once you've done that and you've installed it, you'll have to restart OBS if you haven't already. Um, click on CLR browser, um, just call it chat room, because this will be the chat room. Um, and then that's it, you just literally copy in the URL that you just got from Night Dev. Um, 
you can set the size to whatever you want, but we'll just leave it at that. Click OK. That's what it looks like. Now, of course, my other one was transparent, but I didn't configure that. You can configure that on the website. If I just go back to that, click install it. Oh yeah, if you just select none, I think, yeah, it'll, it won't have a background. You want to just copy that in, click on chat room, copy that in again. Yeah, just okay. And boom, yeah, there you go. It's it's now transparent. Oh, this is what a lot of people use. And it works, you can just scale that up. Place it in there, and there you go. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, then give it a like. If you know someone else who might find it useful, then share it with them. And if you've got any suggestions or comments of how I can make this video better or anything that I may have missed out that makes this tutorial more useful, then just leave me a comment below. Oh, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out.